teams can only succeed with a great leader at the helm. Being a good manager means empowering your colleagues and giving them what they need to thrive. But workplace inequality can stop your team from being treated fairly. Day-to-day -day business practices can affect women and men differently, whether you're aware of it or not. As a people leader, you need to think about how women's workplace experiences might be different to bring fairness to the way you manage your team. Where do you start? The first step to treating your whole team fairly is to make sure your decisions are objective and consistent. Whether you're hiring a new staff member, giving a raise to an employee, or considering flexible working. At Close the Gap, we have resources to help you pinpoint where bias might be affecting your decisions. Here are some key areas to focus on. 1. Flexible working. Make flexible working work for your team. Understand your company's flexible working policies and use them. Talk to staff about how different work patterns could benefit them and work well within your team. 2. Maternity leave. Support and talk to staff who are pregnant or on maternity leave. When you don't support your staff, you risk losing skilled and experienced employees. Or worse, you face a costly discrimination claim. Keep in touch with staff when they're away and give them the help they need when they return to work. 3. Training and development. Make training and development accessible to all. Professional growth is for everyone. All staff, part-time or full-time, junior or senior, women and men, should be given opportunities to develop their skills and progress in the business. Talk to everyone on your team about the training and development they want and need. Listen to what they say and agree development plans. Making fair, consistent and objective decisions in situations like these helps to address workplace inequality and make your team feel valued and supported. But there's even more you can do. As a leader, you also set the tone. So, create an inclusive culture by challenging sexist banter and racism and celebrating examples of best practice. We all have a role to play in closing the gender pay gap and fighting gender inequality. To make a difference, the whole organisation needs to take part. You can't do it alone. When the whole business comes together with good training and the right support, you can shift the needle on gender inequality. We all have a part to play in closing the gap. It's time to act. To find out more, visit closeyourpaygap.org.uk.